An American roulette wheel has 38 slots. Two slots are numbered 0 and double zero, and the remaining slots are numbered from 1 through 36. A roulette wheel looks more like this, where again there are 38 slots, 18 are red, 18 are black, and two are green, and the numbers are 0, double zero, and then 1 through 36. The way the game works is as the wheel spins, a ball bounces around, and then wherever the ball lands determines who wins or who loses. For our problems though, we will use this table here to help us answer the questions. This is actually where people place their bets, but it does show all the possible outcomes. We want to begin by determining the probability the ball lands in an odd black numbered slot. So looking at the table, we want to find the odd black numbers. Remember odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and so on. So here we have a black 11, a black 13, a black 15, and a black 17. Then we have a black 29, a black 31, a black 33, and a black 35. These are the odd black slots. Notice how there are eight of them, and therefore there are eight favorable outcomes out of a total of 38 outcomes because there are 38 slots. And therefore the probability of the ball landing in an odd black numbered slot is 8 38ths. But this does simplify. There's a common factor of two between eight and 38. This simplifies to 4 19ths, which is the exact probability, but let's also express the probability as a decimal and a percentage. To convert to a decimal, we divide four by 19. Four divided by 19, let's round this to four decimal places. The probability is approximately 0 0.2105, which would give us 21, 0.05%. So the 4 19th is the exact probability. These two have been rounded. Next we're asked to find the probability that the ball lands on red. 18 slots are red out of the 38 slots, and therefore the probability the ball lands on red is 18 38ths. Again simplifying, we have nine nineteenths. Again, this is the exact probability the ball lands on red. Let's also get our decimal approximation for this. Nine divided by 19 to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.4737, which would give us approximately 47.37%. The last question is find the probability that the ball lands on zero or double zero. So there are two favorable outcomes, either a zero or a double zero, out of a total of 38 outcomes. And therefore the probability is two thirty-eighths, which after simplifying is equal to one nineteenth. Again, let's convert this to a decimal. 1 divided by 19, enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0526, which is equal to 5.26%. I hope you found this helpful.